So today I'm going to show you how to insert an equation into a Word document. So most versions of Word automatically have the ability to insert equations into the document. So the way you could do this is go up here to the Insert tab and click on that. And when you click on the Insert tab, it will either show up over here automatically where it will give you an option for equations. If it doesn't show up automatically, you can go ahead and click on this down arrow where it says Symbols. And when we do that, you'll see that the option to insert an equation shows up right below that. So I'm going to go ahead and click here where it says uh, equation. And you'll notice that the equation shows up here in the middle of the screen. I don't really want my equation to be in the middle of my document. So I'm going to just move it over to the left side by going back here to the home tab and clicking the align left. And that will move it over to the left side of the paper. Then I'll go back here to the equation tools um, where it says design. I'm going to click on that. And here it will allow me to edit the equation and to enter various things into the equation. So I'm going to start out by solving for the mean for this data set of x values. So all you need to do is enter what you're solving for. So I'm solving for the mean. That symbol would be a capital M. So I'm just going to type capital M right in there. Then you'll notice here where it says symbols in your equation tools. If you click the down arrow, it allows you to have a bunch of different options as far as symbols go that you can insert into your equation. So here in the basic math option, I'm going to enter an equal sign into my equation. So when solving for the mean, the mean is equal to the sum of all your x values divided by the number of scores you have. So in order to represent that equation, I'm going to insert the fraction into this equation here. So we'll click on the fraction and then go ahead and select that first option for the fraction. So to solve for the mean, we take the sum of all the x values and divide it by the number of scores we have. So to, to represent the sum of all the x values, I'm going to go ahead and click here in this top box. And I'm going to insert the symbol sigma to represent the sum of. So to find that symbol, we'll click here again where it says symbols and click that down arrow. I'm going to switch the menu here to be the Greek letters. And you'll see all of the Greek letter options here. We're going to insert that capital sigma. So we're going to take the sum of all the x values. So I just typed in x next to the sigma. And then down here, we're dividing the sum of all those x values by the number of scores we have, which is represented by the symbol n. I'm just going to type in the letter n in that lower box there. So next what we can do is we can actually copy this equation and paste it if we want to solve for it next to it. So I'm just going to go ahead and right click and copy that equation. If I click right here next to where that division symbol is, it will let me paste it right in there. So I'm going to right click. Oops. So we want to make sure it's outside of that equation. So right click and I'm going to Select that option that says keep source formatting to make it look the same. So in solving for the mean, I'm going to take the sum of all the x values. So I can go ahead and replace this with the actual number corresponding to the sum of all these x values. So when you add up all those x values, you should get 14 as the sum. And we're going to divide it by the number of scores we have, which is 4. We have 4 scores in that data set, so I'm going to just type in that number 4. And then here we can go ahead and again insert the equal sign. I'm going to switch this to basic math and insert the equal sign. And I'm going to do my calculations and find that when I divide 14 by 4, I get the value of 3.5 as my mean. So there is the equation solved for the mean. So now let's try a little bit more complex of an equation. So I can just go ahead and add some spaces here. And let's say that I want to solve for the 
MS, so the mean squares, which is used in ANOVA. So maybe I want to solve for the MS between. So again, I'm going to go here to the insert and then the equation. So if I want to solve for the MS between, I want to indicate that in the symbols I'm using first. So I'm going to do that by adding in a subscript. So here, if I click script and then on that down arrow, to do the subscript, it would be this option here where it has a big square and then a little square below it. So click on that one. And I'm going to go ahead and click in this first box and just type MS. And then I'm going to click over here into that second box. And I want to indicate that I'm solving for the MS between. And if you just click the side arrow, you could get out of that subscript. And then let's insert the equation representing the MS between, which is a fraction. So I'll go ahead and insert a fraction here. Again, I just want a basic fraction. And then here in the top, I'm going to represent that the MS between is solved by dividing the sum of squares between by degrees of freedom between. So I'm going to handle each of these one at a time. So I'll click up here in this top box to insert, just like I did before, a value with a subscript. So click on that script and that second option. Okay, now that we have this here, we can click, make sure it's just selecting that top box only. And then we could type in SS. And then you can move the arrow over, click into the smaller box, and we want to just type in between to represent that we're looking at the sum of squares between. And then we'll click down here at the bottom box, and again we'll do that same approach. So I'm going to go to design, and then script, and select that subscript option. And now we can enter our formula, which the bottom part is the DF between. So again, we can copy just this part of the equation and then paste it next to it <clears throat> to help us solve for it. We can just replace these values with numbers. I'm just making up these values. So I want to show you how to do one other type of equation, which would be an equation with superscripts, like squaring. So the way we would do that is, again, the same process as before. So we're going to insert, and we want to insert an equation. And so let's say we want to solve for r squared. So the way to do that is to go ahead and click here again where it says script. Instead, we're going to use this option. This is for uh, when we have a superscript, like a square. So I'll click on that. Then I'll type in this lower box here, R. And then to represent squared, I'll just hit the number 2. And then we'll click out of that. Just click the arrow. So R squared is equal to, and then it's a division. So we're going to take that fraction again. And here on the top, we have r squared is equal to t squared goes on top. So t and then squared. And then on the bottom, it would be also t squared. So I'm going to put that superscript in again, t and then squared and plus degrees of freedom. Now you can use the plus sign either on your keyboard or you can add it in using these symbols here. So either way it will represent the correct values. So that is how you insert equations into your Word document.